If it's a solid color background, double click this background color picker and you'll see that a color box opens up. You can select any color inside here to change that color or you can go right to the image, select a color from the image that matches perfectly. You can try different colors, see what you get. You can also fine tune this over here and then say OK. You may want to change the color of other layers. This is a shape layer indicated by this square icon. We can double click on the shape layer and we can change the color like that. Or we can select a color from the image. And we can do this with other layers as well. This text box is in red. I'll double click. I'll select the same color I had selected before. I'll do it on this text box as well. And I can change all of the type and the color. I can double click the T icon. His name isn't Marcus. Let's say it's Michael. Now that fit perfectly. Let's try another one that doesn't fit perfectly. In this case, I can take the text box, controller command T, and I can resize this so it fits. Get it exactly where I want. I can select both of these layers, hold down controller command and select each of these layers. And I can use my move tool here at the top and I can align these center just like that. And I can also change the color of the type by selecting the T icon, double clicking it. There's a color box up here at the top and I can select a different color. Maybe I want to make this in black or maybe I want to match the blue in the background. And when I click the layer mask, it's going to only show where I've selected. It's going to block out the rest of the layer. Watch what happens. It did exactly that. We now only see where I had selected. We see nothing else of the image that is indicated by this layer mask here where you can continue now to either paint black or white on this layer mask when you have it selected to block out different areas of your image. Though in this case, I don't think I'll need to, but I may need to bring some parts back. I can zoom in here and I can see on his leg that I've cut it off. So I'm going to go to my layer mask. I'm going to make my paintbrush white and wherever I paint now, with white will reveal this image. So let's see what happens when I do that. Yep, there's his leg, but I need to mask out the background again. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna grab my polygonal lasso tool and I'm gonna make a selection right here up against his leg, just like that, same way as I did before. Kind of extend it out a bit, go around, double click to save that selection. I'm gonna make sure I'm on my mask. I'm gonna make sure I have black in the background. I'm gonna press delete. On my keyboard and then I will block out the area I just selected. Controller command D will deselect and now I have an even better selection. You'll note that the hair looks fantastic because we used, so let's leave that. I think that looks really really nice. You can increase it a little bit more. That looks great. Okay perfect. Right about there. We can also add in other digital backgrounds. So I'm going to click on this digital background. Let's go to other digital backgrounds. Let's find something with Yes, maybe some lightning in it. That would look nice. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see what else is here. Go to this lightning with some texture. Let's make this a little bit bigger in the background. Okay, we're stretching that out a bit, but that's okay. We get this nice lightning effect. And then I'm going to change the blending mode of this layer so it blends with the layer below it. Let's see what happens if I just leave this color blue. So I'm going to go to my blending modes and I'm going to just kind of cycle through these mouse over. And I'm thinking maybe either screen or overlay is going to look good here. So there's screen, not, not enough. Let's go to overlay. Oh, that looks great. And I'm going to try a couple things to make this stand out a little better. One would be the levels. I want to increase the contrast. So I'm going to go to my adjustment layers. You can go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then levels. Or you can use your adjustment panel over here and click on your levels adjustment. Okay, so now I have the levels here. I'm going to double click it. And I'm going to try to increase the white and increase the black to add some contrast to that layer. It is only affecting this layer below it because it is clipped to it. You can click this button. If I uncheck this, for example, this is a template that was preset to say golf. And we demonstrated this with a golfer in the image. But that doesn't mean you have to use this for golf. You can use it for any sport. So I'm going to go to my sample subject and just turn this off and demonstrate how you can add a design element to this to use it for another sport. Let's use the design elements included with the sports package too. And you can see that we have a golf ball, we have a softball, baseball, soccer ball, etc. And you can add these to your templates to really customize them. So let's do this one for basketball. 
And I'll take the basketball here and just drag it right into the image and put this where I want, maybe make it a little bit smaller. And over here, I'll put this maybe right above these arrows, but below the rest here, just so I have it pretty even. And I can resize it, Control or Command T again, just to get this exactly where I want. So now this is for basketball. We have a couple other edits we can make. Number one, I can add a drop shadow by double clicking that layer, maybe setting this off a little bit so it looks nice with this image and some of the other shadows that we see, maybe something like that and off center just a bit like that. Okay, so we'll say okay to that. And then I can change the color of this. Maybe you want this to be orange like basketball. Now you can always pick colors later once you get the subject in, but let me just show you how easy that would be to do. We're gonna to go to the background color picker layer here. If you don't have a background color picker layer, use color in Photobacks Control. But let's use the one here. So we're gonna double click. Let's click on the orange and the basketball. That looks great. We can kind of fine tune that over here in the color picker box and say, okay. 